Well, hello and welcome, welcome back. Today I'm going to make an attempt to answer a question by one of my viewers. His name is Aha Double Y R. I hope I didn't butcher your name way too much. But the question is Can you do a video on using samples and loops in LMMS and how to slice or chop loops and samples, please? So, if this is something that you might be interested in and you would like to listen to it and hear it, please stay tuned and do not go away. All right, so before we start, the first thing that I want to tell you is you need to download stuff that is copyright free and you can use for free in any beat that you want to use. So where I went to was looperman.com and he has a ton of loops that people just upload there and they give it to you guys and to me absolutely free and they have a whole bunch of different genres that you can use as well okay so this is a place where you can download this loops absolutely free and they're wave file and it's the only files that lmms will accept if you try to download an mp3 file it will not work in lmms so without further ado let me get started with this so the first thing i do is i open up that loop and I right click and I hit an open a new instrument. Now to look at the loop, you click right here on it and it opens up this thing right here. And we're looking at the loop right here. So then when you click on this key right here where it has the green little square, you place the loop the way it was intended. So now to use the loop or to slice the loop, Let's say that I want to use just this part right here at the end. So I will take this knob here in the front and now just bring it to where that peak start. And I'm using just the end of it. And that's it for that. Okay. Now, if you want to use the beginning of it, as you can see, when I move this forward, it moves the middle part over and we're going to have to highlight the whole thing. So you bring this back all the way. So let's say I want to use the beginning part of it. So I take this back end and I bring it up to right before the little spike right there. And I hit play. And that's it for that loop right there. Let's say you like a loop right here in the middle somewhere very easy you bring this one to right where you want that loop to start you bring the middle one or the last one right where you want it to end and I'm using a loop right in the middle okay so let's say you want to reverse this loop so it's very easy you click right here on the R and then reverse the loop so now let's play it So if you want to do that kind of trippy trap sound where they play everything reverse, that's how you reverse the sound right here. So let's unreverse it. So it's playing right there. So then you go into the piano roll and you put it right here, right where the C5 is at. You go down two notes to the A and that's where you put your sample and you hit play and it's playing the way it was intended now if you want to take this and uh, bring it down a couple of notes now it's going to play slower So obviously you have to stretch it here so it fits. Now if you bring it up a few notes, it's going to play faster. And that was it for that one. Very short. So let's do it again. And you could play with this anywhere you want until you get the sound that you want from this loop. I mean, it's endless what you can do with this. And this is the way that I go about using a sample in LMMS. 
Obviously, there's some other ways you can download some free VSTs, and I'm going to show you right here. If you go to KVR or KVRAudio.com, they have these right here. It's called a Stretcha, and this one is called a Chipper. That's to you know uh, chip and cut the uh, the sample any way you want. And they got the Stretch BPM, so you stretch the BPM to make it longer, and it still stays within the I guess the same sound if you want to say you can download this absolutely free if you want as well and I will have a link in the description below for the Looperman website as well as the KVR audio website and you can download this stuff absolutely free and you can use it any way that you want now a little bit about samples what I will share with you is that a sample is pretty much and what you feel what you get out of it so you put the you play the sample let's say you put it backwards and then you know you stop building around that sample the way that I go about it is that I first listen to the sample then I start building my drum pattern with that sample so it matches that sample and then I start adding different sounds and different things to it until you get that vibe that you know something that you like out of it you can make it into trap hip-hop boom bop whatever you like uh, and you can use those samples in any way you want so I hope that you learn something new from this and I hope that this was helpful if you want to see a little bit more of me making an actual beat with the sample please leave a comment down below and asking for me to do that for you and I'll be more than happy to do that as well I just wanted to make something quick so you knew how to chop up the sample how to cut them up and and what else you can do in the lemon mess with these samples again thank you so much for watching and have a blessed blessed day